still got it, dude. <laughs> we got the plane. We got the air support. <laughs> oh, it's Charlie. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't bring my guns. It's fine. I've got gun in my hand. Oh. We gotta stand up. Oh, he's, he's going in. He's going in. Don't get hit. Oh, Don't get oh. hit. No. S Earth is a Minecraft server for live streamers taking place on a 1 to 3,000 scale map of the planet Earth. Also, there's planes. World Conquest, it's a long process. I'm thinking it'll take me at least two, maybe three hours to completely subjugate this planet. I have an entire route to victory planned out, all right? We are going to be forming the Antarctic Empire, and then we're going to slowly expand and ruin everyone's life. I'm getting kicked out of the server. So anyhow guys, I've been being accused of auto-clicker a lot recently, so I figured I'd record myself clicking in real life to show you guys that I am completely legit, and that you guys are all just mad because you're bad. And so anyhow, here we go. Alright, so let's see how fast I clicked. All right, that is 732 times per second. As you can see, I just clicked that. And yeah, so that's proof that I'm not an auto-clicker. Thank you guys for watching, and you're bad, because just stop whining. You're bad at video games. Get good. I'm better than you. It was March 31st, 2021. It was a sunny day in Skyblock. People were grinding, birds were singing, and a new mayor election was just beginning. Among the candidates running was Barry, the alchemy mayor. Now, Barry's run for mayor in 50 elections, and he's coming dead last 50 times. But this time, things are looking up for Barry, because there's a new face nobody's ever seen before, and he's even worse. His name is Dante. Where other candidates make concrete promises over what they'll give you, like 25% more bank interest or 35% more pet experience, Dante promises nothing except that he'll establish order and strengthen security. When interviewed, all he says is, I will stabilize this rapidly declining system. PERMANENTLY! Well, looks like Barry won't be last place this time. I mean, this guy's so transparently evil, there's no way anyone would ever- And he's got 91% of the vote. Go. Where are you doing? Uh, no, my uh, Second though, I think I'll collab okay. with someone else. I'm just gonna run straight up at Red Team's base. If I make this, like, just ever, I get all your subs. I'm not even using a weapon. I just threw oh. some guy off a ledge with my bare fist. Days later, I have an appointment with my radiation therapist who tells me, oh yes, I actually uh, just had a meeting with your surgeon and we've been going over the uh, the post-embolization scan and we've determined that the uh, the cells dying off have caused the tumor to swell dangerously and we need to cancel all treatment and amputate your right arm next week and it might be too late. And I'm like, hey! Hey, I thought I thought things were good, and then my surgeon calls mid-appointment and has me schedule an appointment so that my family and I can make, and I'm quoting directly, a difficult decision. At this point, I'm sitting here like, goodbye, right arm. <laughs> we, we've had a good 22 years. We've won a lot of Minecraft tournaments, but you did mess up mitosis. You've got no one to blame but yourself. Take some responsibility. Fast forward a few days, I'm sitting there in the waiting room with my mom, waiting to meet with a surgeon and the receptionist has handed me a form to fill out information like, uh, oh, have you had any past surgeries before? Which I really hope they would already know about, but, you know, it's probably a worthwhile redundancy to have. But I don't remember all the exact dates I had them on, so I pull out my phone to look it up, and when I pull out my phone, I see, oh, hey, I have a new procedure scheduled on November 8th, and it's called arm amputation. Hey, I think I know how this meeting's gonna go. <laughs> I just found it so funny, though, because, like, why would they call the procedure arm amputation? Like, like you're gonna get the tumor as well, right? Like, isn't that the, isn't that the important thing? Like, I'm gonna wake up on the operating room table, and I'm gonna, like, push myself up with my one arm, and I'm gonna be like, Doc! Doc, did you get the cancer? And he's gonna be like, you have cancer? Wow, that's crazy. You should see a doctor about that. I showed the schedule to- <sighs> Pig rank acquired! Yeah, boy! Hypixel gave me the pig rank for winning Minecraft Monday week one, but it only lasts a week. After seven days, I will revert to being a YouTube rank, like a complete and utter casual. I do have some good news though. Hypixel said that if I win Minecraft Monday again, my pig rank will get extended by another week. So basically, it's permanent.
<laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm paranoid there's going to be like new viewers checking out my channel for the first time and they'll hear me do my bit where I, uh, where I turn my ego up to 10,000% and be like, wow, this must be the real Technoblade. I hate this guy and just leave me forever. So yeah, if you're just discovering my videos, uh, let me get, let me give you a brief guide to my content. Uh, we don't, we don't do jokes here on the Technoblade channel. Video looks promising. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back with another episode of Minecraft Hardcore in VR. I think I fixed the resolution. Everyone made fun of me last episode for the resolution, so I fixed it, and I also fixed my height. Everyone was saying I was short, and every time I joined, my head would come up to, like, here. People were saying I'm, like, four feet tall. That's not okay. I'm, I'm like, 6'2". Leave me alone. This is, like, my one positive attribute. We're going to keep exploring the mine shaft. I want to get diamonds this episode, okay? We're playing hardcore, which means it's going to be a massive L if I die. 